option. Have a glass of salsa I ordered special for you, black cherry. Why don't you come sit in the kitchen? Have a glass of salsa. I ordered your favorite syrup. Special for you, black cherry. No, I'm gonna be staying in my room. I have a lot of homework and studying to catch up on. My finals are a couple days away, so please, I would like to concentrate, finish. I, I could use a little more help with the Capitals of the states, but uh, okay, okay. Maybe tonight if I have time, or tomorrow. Uh, uh, the rose tattoo. Uh, more women. ATW, how'd you write this? Oh uh, yeah, you're single. No women to bother you. You're safe. Huh. Hey Joe, how are you and Marilyn doing? Who are you talking to? Tennessee Williams and Joe DiMaggio. Who? Forget it! God. Hello, old friend. Guess what? Made a couple extra bucks at work today. Boss needed me to help him move a freezer. Easy hour of work. But on the way home, I bumped into that creep who rented me my first room, Rosa, and her so-called cousin Manny. He still wears those tight undershirts that show off his chest and his muscles. He tried to shake my hand, but I couldn't. Those same hands that wandered all over my body. Why did that happen to me? Those memories, I Thought they'd be gone by now, but they're still with me. Now, my life is better. Yes, it is. For the last four months, I've been living with this old lady, Mrs. Schiller. <laughs> she's a little cuckoo, but she's nice. She can never remember my name, and I don't get much privacy, but... Uh, can't complain. Darwin, why don't you come sit in the kitchen? I promise I won't bother you. Please, Mrs. Shell, learn my name. It's not Darwin, it's Douglas. And I don't want any seltzer to interrupt your evening <laughs> or mine. Nothing can interrupt my evening. Let me make you a little spritz. Just a simple cherry drink and then we both can study. All right, just give me a moment. And as long as it's black cherry and all we do is study. Yeah, uh, yeah. No one talking. Hey, <laughs> sit down. Uh, you should sit there, is that right? Oh, yes, any place is good. Now, isn't that better? Yes, yeah. better. <laughs> Oh, isn't that a wonderful sound? What? Oh, what can you know? What can anyone know? But listen, listen very carefully. Do you hear it? Hear what? All I hear is this. Those summers were so alive! The life of summer! Music from the birds! My, the gardener outside my bedroom window in that wonderful garden! 
and my papa calls to me, get up my little earth firm. rise before it gets too hot to play in the grass, smell the flowers, watch the bees, people sit under the old oak tree and wait for the approaching day, I pray there will be light, always light. You are correct, Papa. <laughs> yeah, did you have a garden to play in? Um, sit and listen to the to the music of the birds when you were a boy? Uh, no, I didn't have a garden, and I actually played in the street. And all I heard was the sound of pigeons, barking dogs, and delivery trucks. You never had a garden. Played in a garden? Well, when the landlord needed my help taking care of some of the garbage, yeah. that's when I got to see the garden. <laughs> He'd say, uh, hey, doggy, I'll give you a dime uh, if you were taking it that branches out. And I remember, look, but no touch. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, I got him, though. When he wasn't looking, I saw some ripe figs and I ate them. <laughs> Every child should have a garden. Please. Yeah, uh, but please, <laughs> enough, I need to focus, I need to concentrate. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one day you will have your own garden with a fig tree. Winter day star, have some summer sing for garden. No, the winter had done for me. Where are you right now? Uh, uh, why are you late? You always come earlier. You know your lunch went cold. Mrs. Schiller? Yeah? We promised, remember? You see this? No talking. I told you, I need to concentrate. I need to be left alone. Oh, I want to be alone. And I had to say past supper, not lunch. Uh, Boss needed my help moving a freezer. He gave me five bucks, a little extra money. <laughs> a little extra money is always a good thing. Yeah, and I gotta keep earning good money. And uh, thanks for the seltzer, by the way. But now, if you, you can excuse me, I need to... Seltzer, seltzer, you said seltzer now. Where did I put it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> My dish towel is keeping the broccoli company. <laughs> there. I have work to do too. Now I go to night school too, you know. Mm -hmm. And drink some more of your salsa. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Turned it off. Uh, 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 oh, I sang that already. Hey, hey, hey. Bring to us ice and snow. Garm our hearts up. Zeit vertrieben. Blumen auf die Fenster schieben. Hey, er bringt uns Eis und Schnee, so beautiful. Yeah, that was beautiful. What was yeah. it saying? You don't understand. It's German. It's a children's uh, song. It's a vowel song. Oh. My papa used to sing it to me to help me with my vowels. And after singing, we would have tea. A delicious cup of tea. First you boil the water till it's very hot. And then you add the tea leaves. Tea leaves.
deep swimming in the water. Teens are very good swimmers. Ah. And then you pour it into a cup. <laughs> oh, my grandmother, she poured it into a glass. Have you ever heard anything so silly? It's a glass tea. <laughs> and then, using a spoon, we would stir in some jam. A shiny teaspoon. A beautiful poetry teaspoon. Oh, how beautiful those times were. Where are they now? Now, and what about your papa? Did he sing? No, he didn't sing. No? All I did was play drums on the kitchen table with forks and knives. And he kept a glass of beer next to him. Forks and knives? <laughs> He didn't use teaspoons? Mm. Then what did you do with them? What? With your papa. What did you do with your papa? Uh, oh, I, I thought you meant... Oh, God. My father, my brother, did everything with my father. Yeah? He was the star, the golden boy. Uh -huh. Golden. <laughs> yeah. He'd be the one to bring home the trophies from baseball, and I was the donkey that was put to work to pay for his muscle treatments and his baseball equipment. And my father and I didn't do anything. And buying him beer doesn't count. I think I see. No, you don't. He didn't even try to do things with me. He just ignored me and made fun of all the books that I was reading. Even when he, I asked him if he was finished reading the day.